Hello everyone, this is Tyler coming to you from TJ Coffee. Today I am going to do a discussion on 10 ways in which coffee is excellent for your health and it makes you healthier. Okay, so I'll first summarize the 10 reasons and then I'll elaborate upon these concepts. Okay, number one is coffee makes you stronger. Number two, coffee can help you burn fat and improves physical performance. Number three, coffee may be extremely good for your liver. Number four, coffee could reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Number five, there are essential nutrients in coffee. Number six, coffee can fight depression and make you happier. Number seven, coffee drinkers have a lower risk of some types of cancer. Number eight, coffee can help you live longer. Number nine, coffee is the biggest source of antioxidants in the Western diet. And number 10, just smelling coffee could make you less stressed. Okay, now getting into the elaboration part of this, um, I'll start on number one. Coffee makes you smart. Okay, ca the caffeine um, chemical blocks an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain that leads to a stimulant effect which then this stimulant effect then improves energy levels, mood and brain function, such as alertness and concentration. Now, okay, so after drinking, um, the coffee is absorbed into the bloodstream and the brain, the caffeine blocks an inhibitory neurotransmitter called adenosine. When this happens, the amount of neurotransmitters like dopamine increase, leading to an enhanced firing of neurons. And control tri trials show that coffee improves various aspects also of brain function like memory, mood, vigilance, energy levels, reaction time, and higher cognitive functions. Number two, coffee can help you burn fat and improve physical performance. There's been many studies that have shown that caffeine does indeed increase adrenaline levels and releases fatty acid from fat tissues, which then in turn affects physical performance by up to 12% before exercising. It also stimulates the nervous system, sending signals to fat cells to break down fat. This also increases adrenaline levels in the blood which is the fight or flight hormone that make the body ready for exercise. So case in point is that coffee is excellent before exercise, just don't overdo it. Number three is coffee may be extremely good for your liver. Coffee drinkers have much less risk of developing cirrhosis, which is um, caused by many diseases of the liver. And, um, the liver is uh, is an organ that that has hundreds of um, important functions in the body. You cannot live without a liver. Um, several well-known diseases are associated with the liver, such as hepatitis, fatty fatty liver tissue, and all of these are associated with cirrhosis, which then in turn causes scar tissue on the liver. And coffee protects against this. And there's been studies that have shown that up to four cups of coffee a day increases or it reduces the risk by 80%. Now, number four, coffee could reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is one of the most severe epidemics in the world at this point. There's over 300 million people that suffer from diabetes and the likelihood in first world countries that someone will develop diabetes is extremely high. So um, diabetes is an elevated, or diabetes is when one has elevated blood sugars that, um, that cause basically insulin resistance or the inability to secrete insulin. And studies that have shown that coffee drinkers reduce this diabetes risk by between 23 to 50%. And 
a ma in, in a different study of 460,000 individuals showed a reduction of 7% for each cup of coffee. And this is obviously in conjunction with exercise and with other like um, healthy habits because it's not just the coffee in itself. It's um, there's a comprehensive mindset that has to be um, taken here. Okay, so there are essential nutrients in coffee, and the these nutrients are pantothenic acid, manganese, potassium, magnesium, and niacin. Okay, pantothenic acid, also known as vitamin B5, it stimulates hormones, relieves stress, improves heart health, and builds stamina and skin and health care. Manganese um, helps build healthy bones, regulate sugar level, kick kickstart metabolism, and relieves inflammation. Potassium, it's a, it maintains a base and acid. Um, level in your body or the pH level in your body and also maintains blood pressure. Magnesium strengthens the bones, helps against migraines and improves health function or heart health function. And niacin helps against heart disease, treats diabetes and provides energy. So case in point is that whether it's directly or indirectly through these vitamins, we could say that it has basically all the most essential vitamins that your body needs. And that leads us into number six, which is coffee can fight depression and make you happier. In a, in a recent Harvard study, they found that, or in a Harvard study of 208,000 individuals, they found that people who drank four or more cups of coffee a day were 53% less likely to commit suicide. Now, how does how does coffee help mitigate against depression? Okay, um, it's due to the caffeine. Then the caffeine helps stimulate the central nervous system and act as an antidepressant by increasing production of feel good neural trans, um, transmitters in the brain, also known as serum, um, serotonin, dopamine, and noradrenaline, which are all um, these are all chemicals found in coffee. And one other disclaimer is that there's many energy drinks out there that contain synthetic forms of these the, these um, substances, which is different. These are the natural. It's just like comparing natural to synthetic sugars. Two different things. Um, so th this is the um, these are the natural forms of serotonin, dopamine, and noradrenaline. Okay, number seven is coffee drinkers have a lower risk of some types of cancer. In, um, in most cases, um, they found a reduction of, of people developing cancers in, in common body sites, such as oral cavities, infarnix, liver, brain, colon, rectum. And as, as um, you guys might know, Cancer is the leading cause of death in the world and is characterized by growth of or an uncontrolled growth of cells within the body, which then causes which then causes malignant tumors and all that. Um, coffee helps protect against two types of cancers, especially which is liver cancer and colorectal cancer. And studies showed that up to forty percent of or studies showed a a 40 percent reduction of liver cancer in in coffee drinkers and they also found in a different study of 500,000 people um people who consume 45 cups per day were 15 percent less likely to contract colorectal cancer okay number eight coffee can help you live longer Okay, so this kind of goes back or ties back into some of the previous case points that were made. Um, but with that being said, it, it, it still deserves its own attention. And okay, so growing evidence has shown that coffee benefits health, um, increases life expectancy, reduces, health, reduces heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and even suicide. 
in a recent study through the American Health Association found that in a in a study of 200,000 people people who drank coffee or one to five cups of coffee a day um, typically exhibited less premature death from disease and other natural causes now number nine coffee is the biggest source of antioxidants in the western diet coffee contains large amounts of antioxidants and antioxidants obviously this is a broad category in this case this includes polyphenols and hydrocinamic acids um these uh, these antioxidants improve overall health and reduce risk of cert of many types of diseases now um keep in mind here um that these antioxidants are different than antioxidants found in in plant food coffee and plant food two different types of antioxidants in in most cases coffee is the biggest antioxidant for humans in or in the world for for human diets um but this should not be um relied on as the only kind of antioxidant as as humans need both number 10 is just smelling coffee could make you less stress okay so there was a recent study done by researchers at seoul national university in korea and they examined the brains of rats who were experiencing sleep deprivation what they then um looked at were um they they took a control group and an experimental group and they exposed one to coffee aromas and found staggering differences in um in the brain proteins tied to the stress of the co of the rats who who had um been exposed to this coffee compared to the ones who weren't so um and it, it was more positive the, the the effect on their brain so um it, it does have this kind of feel good um chemical in it's in and it, it will help um not not prevent but it, it can help reduce symptoms of depression okay uh, thank you everyone for watching this this video and just um leave any comments and tell me if there's any other th things here that i forgot or that you would like to elaborate on thank you and have a nice afternoon